What is going on everybody, it is your boy Nothing But Skills and today we're gonna be talking to you guys about how to unlock three masks from Hunters. Yes, I said it from Hunters, the three masks. We're gonna be talking about the Death Mask, we're gonna be talking about the Cross Mask and the Diamond Mask. All three of these masks can be found in the same location and that's where all three Hunters will spawn. So let's get into it right now. So the location where all three Hunters will spawn is exactly where I'm showing you right now. This location is just north of the castle settlement, the one settlement that you never really occupy. And then right above it, you have your control point, and then right above that, you'll have exactly where you wanna be. So if you look at the map right now, right where it says territory control, and it has the red symbol, that's where the hunter spawn. There's a Christmas tree there. The building next to it is where we have to hit the switch. Now you do have to wait for it to be nighttime because if you do it during the daytime, the hunters will not come out. So once it gets dark in game and you can see the moon, then you can run over to where I was and you're gonna see the switch. Control point. And that's the lever you have to pull. Now once you pull the lever, all you have to do is head straight towards the Christmas tree and then run around the Christmas tree and then you're gonna know when the hunters spawn. My recommendation is don't try to fight all three hunters right here. Pull them away and try to use the enemy, try to use the civilians that are in the area to help you out. Because if not, you're gonna die. And I died a lot while I was completing this. The good thing about it is even if you die, all you have to do is respawn and look for the hunters because the hunters will stay out. Even if it turns daytime, you can find the hunters. Now I would not try this until you're level 30 because if you try to do this before you're level 30, they will kill you instantly. So you can do this on World Tier 1, level up your gear, get some pretty good gear, and then try to finish them off as fast as you can. It's gonna take you guys a little bit of time. I found the easiest way to do this solo is to make sure you have the NPCs help you out. So whether they're enemies or whether they're allies, put some damage on the hunter, and then when the hunter takes a lot of damage, you run in there to finish them off, just like I did right here. So I had allies on my right shooting him, his health was low, and I went in there. So we killed the first hunter, and we got the cross mask. Now we have two more hunters to get. I probably wanna say I died over 20 times trying to complete this, but as long as I kept respawning, they were there. Now I found that grenades help out, using explosive bullets, using your specialized weapons help out a lot. The way I finished off the second hunter was with a grenade, and I got the diamond mask. Now one thing that happened when I did kill this hunter, he respawned, so I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what happened. He literally got up like the undertaker and finished me off, but I was able to collect the diamond mask. Now for the final and third mask, this hunter likes to hang out in the grass. So he's in these bushes over here. You can't see him. I would recommend throwing down a turret and then switching to a LMG. I had a sniper rifle. It wasn't working for me because I'm not specced for marksman rifle damage. So I ended up switching to a LMG and you're gonna see how I finish it in just a second. Now if you guys do this in a group, in squad play, I'm sure it's a lot easier than doing it solo, but not everybody has someone to play with, so I was trying to show you guys some easy tips and tricks to do this solo. Remember, use your allies, use the NPC, enemy NPCs to help you out, and for this last guy, when he's in the bush, switch to an LMG, and then just finish him off because he won't have time to heal because all of these hunters can heal, and all these hunters hit really hard. So get to level 30 first, guys. Get to that end game. Go collect your specialization, and then go for these hunter masks. They're definitely something to go for, and I'm very impressed with these three masks. They look way better than what we had in Division One right off the bat. So really impressed with them, and I'm glad to see that we have masks back in the game because I hate not having a mask on my character. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you guys again. Remember, if you're new to my channel, first time watching a video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, so when I release a video, you guys get notified. Smash a thumbs up if you found this video useful. And if you're still having troubles with these three masks, use the comment section down below. Until the next video, nothing but skills out.